It's now time for the nationally syndicated radio show that brings nothing but heat. Spit fire. Save the matches radio with the brothers that are unmatched. Telling stories, we need yes, more, sir. more positivity in the raps. Telling us yeah. things besides death, killing, money, big yeah. man. I can keep yeah. going, but we just need another story, brother. I appreciate you doing that, man. Most um, definitely, Most so, definitely. I mean, that's why at the end of the day, people be like, "Well, why you do this show?" Because, man, there's others. Uh, forms of music and hip hop other than the stereotypical I got this chain I just shot somebody which no disrespect to the younger rappers because there are some that I do like and thanks to Kid Justice down there he's put me up on a lot of game that maybe at times I didn't know because like yesterday we had an artist on and she spoke about Demon Time and I'm like this record about demons and death and what the hell? I don't want to listen to this, but it's slang. It's slang, so it's it's a totally different thing. They got their own different swag and movement. So, uh, mm-hmm. salute, man, for yeah, what you do, bro. Most definitely, yeah. I felt I, I it's just uh, it's just what you said, you know. Um, I feel like I represent our nation personally. Mm-hmm. I don't know how everybody else take it. Everybody else can take what they do, however they take what they do. But I feel like I don't just represent or my family or my community or my hood when I'm out here doing this music or just the hip hop genre in general. I feel like I'm representing all that in my people in general. So I make sure that I always put my best foot forward or try to put my best foot forward when I put whatever it is that I put out there. And that, and, 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 uh, so, when I'm crafting my songs and whatever, all of that kind of stuff like that um, is always uh, things that I take into consideration. Mm. Mm. Man. Do you you look forward to working with any artists in the future? I'm always open to working with, with artists, man. I just, the thing is, is like, I'm just looking for folks that's on my same frequency. You know what I'm saying? That want to, that look Mm. at the world similarly um Mm -hmm. at the end of the day we may be on slightly different paths but as long as we want to go the same places and want to see the same end then i'm i'm down for working with with cats but i don't want to work with anybody that's out here wilding like i just explained to one of the other homeboys uh you know who just got into it you know man look you know because he has some he got some some street affiliations and i told him bro listen man you either going to do this street stuff or you're going to do this music stuff, man. Don't try to do both. What are you about right now? What do you want to do? You know what I'm saying? You either going to be a gangster full time or you're going to be an artist full time, man. There ain't no half stepping with either one of these things, man. So choose, choose your path and, and, you know, basically insinuating that when you fully about the music, then we can we can rock with I rock with you on some music because I know that yeah. you know what I'm saying your past ain't gonna come back to 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 take me down in the future because some that you didn't got into you know yesterday or yesteryear you know what I mean so I'm always open to work with cats who's just on my same frequency who want to uh, see the same things um, that I want to see and um, just want to do something a little different uh, add a little different twist to to hip hop and to music. Mm. Always, so I which keep the I you, keep the lines open. Which, which like you you open oh yeah, so you, you ready to get back out there and start performing, man? It looks like uh, the borders are open. We allowed to go outside. No more masks. No more COVID talks. I'm not, mm-hmm. it's about to be big, man. Yeah, that's about to start booking like crazy once that mask mandate is gone. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of that type of stuff happen right now, man, with just different cats that I rock with. But yeah, definitely seeing all of the mandates be lifted and the restrictions be lifted. There's a lot of uh, opportunities out there to put on. So yeah, I definitely look forward to getting out there and rocking. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'll be rocking uh, <clears throat> at, a, at a spot called Jewel Saloon on the 21st uh, this month. And uh, I'm also in a I'm also in a uh, <clears throat> in a band as well called uh, Global Heat. So you know what I'm saying we got some okay. gigs we got some gigs coming up in August um, as well. What you play? Oh, no, oh. What's that? I don't know you. What you play, man? Oh no! So I'm the MC in the band. So oh. you know what I'm saying. So oh. we're like a. Yeah, so we're like a we we got we're like a neo soul funk band, you know what I'm saying? We got we got we we got our we got our dude on the keys, our dude, our guitarists, our bassists, oh. our drummers, and our singers on there. And I'm 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 one of two MCs in there. Oh, wow. that's yeah. dope, bro. Love to hear that. I oh, love yeah, to hear that. Yeah, yeah. And now, what would yeah. you say influences your music more? Would you say uh, Sacramento or Washington? Where's where's the where's the bigger influence coming from between them two? I say Washington from what it sounds like. Yeah, he's right. He's right. Because mm -hmm. um, yeah, just the 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 experiences that I went through in Sagtown, man, that's at my foundation. Mm -hmm. But you know, as I change and as I grow as a person, you know what I'm saying? Like all of that which was good from up over there, I still hold on to, but I had there was a lot of bad there too, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of stuff yeah. I didn't forget. But like I had said earlier when I talked about like which where 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 do which place do I call home now? Um, yeah, Seattle put me on to like hip hop, hip hop, mm -hmm. without a doubt. You know what I'm saying? Meeting cats up here that was really about that life. Yeah, yeah, that definitely opened. And it blew my mind when I was hearing all this stuff. I'm like, man, where was all this stuff at the whole time? You know what I'm saying? I was like, well, this is crazy. I never heard nothing like this. And so, yeah, by far, from a musical standpoint, definitely Washington. Cool. Yeah, uh, Seattle ain't just our mix a lot. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's not. Definitely <laughs> not. Definitely <laughs> not. There's a lot of there's a lot of cats out here, man. A lot of cats out here. It's real talented cats out here. I know cats out here who don't have a, a a social media presence and who don't really get out here like that, who's just incredible artists too. Mm -hmm. And that's just because um they don't necessarily have a passion to get into the music for the political reasons and because of the 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 fugazi nature of yeah. uh, that they see per, yeah, uh, yeah. Per, per, perpetuating out here that's what keep that's what turns them off but these mm -hmm. guys are incredible songwriters and incredible artists to the point to where mm -hmm. if i bring these cats around folks won't want to pick the mic up after they go they'll be like oh, oh no. they say see, that's oh, what no. we need that's what we need bro oh, how and, we and, know what? and they, and they bring it back and they know yeah. that's what we need because yeah. they know they're going to shut it down. But again, mm -hmm. it, it it turns them off. It turns yeah. them off because, because you know what I'm saying, cats just want to hear about, um, you know what I'm saying, folks getting bodied out here and, and they just want something that they can, that they can uh, move their body to, but not, but not necessarily something that can move their soul. Mm -hmm. I call them and, kind of music. Because they name yeah. every type of gun there is out there. And then all those songs. I was yeah. like, I'm like, there ain't so there's a lot of different guns you can use to shoot somebody. Oh yeah, man. I'm sure I don't even have to look on Google to find out what the new weapons is. You understand? You just start listening to some of these dudes' albums. You go, like, oh what? They'll give you the specs and the modifications yeah, and everything Draco, right on Draco, it. Draco, 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 Draco. Yeah, I didn't even know you could do all that with that gun. Oh yeah, they'll tell you exactly how. To, yeah, I mean, yeah, these cats is crafty when it comes to their weapon play. No doubt. Yeah. No <laughs> doubt. Complete gunsmiths. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh, for that gun. We can't we can't change the tire on the car, man. It's stuff be killing me. Though. Right. Man, let me let me say that at the end of the day, whether they believe it or not, hip hop influences us in a lot of ways. Especially, I'm thinking about what Big did. Um, Ten Crack Commandments. You know yeah. how many brothers listened to that song and learned how to <laughs> sell dope. <laughs> 
back up, back up. So imagine it if more rappers would do more positive or uh, more rhymes about life, how mm. that would influence things to change amongst us in the community and our communities and our hoods. And, you know, mm. if, if it was more or even if it was even, bro, it's not even even. There's not enough mm. rappers Doing more music, more music that we man. yeah to make a change yeah. than rappers that are just talking about death and shooting. I mean, we need yeah. to make it even. Man. It's too late yeah. now, man. This I don't is, think so. I don't think so. Is, man, I yeah. give up hope. Look, look, man, you just gotta let it naturally evolve. It'll get back to some positive music, man. Just let the drill phase pass. People will get sick of that sooner or later. Like, you know what? Y'all killed too many of my favorite rappers. No more drill music. No more drill yeah. music. Yeah. Man, I listen. I did a. Uh, I did a. Uh, I was doing research for a week. I'm. I'm. <clears throat> I'm. I'm about to put out a, another song. I drop a a, a a jewel real quick. I'm gonna put out another song called "Ain't Another Story." That's gonna be my next release. And I was doing. I was doing research for a week because I was just. I was. I was just struck, man, by how many of our brothers and sisters in 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 um in music was getting actually murdered. Murder. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and I and I and I got over. I found well over 200 murders from wow. from hip from hip hop artists. Well over 200. From what, like you know what I'm saying? Three years. And no, last in 2000 and, and 2021. Dang, that's alone. In that is, wow. Yeah, in one year. Man, I yeah. thought that was over a span of time. Yeah, man. You no. Can't hear it, Rapping no, I was just in 2021. And so I was like that mm-hmm. whole week I was down about it because I'm sitting back just like I'm just looking at just like a genocide. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like take place in, in music. But really, it's it's in our communities. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so um, like part of the, the what to your point, when you was just like there needs to be Mo out there because music has an influence on mm-hmm. folks um there needs to be more positive stuff out there that's the reason why i do that because because of the influence music has had on me and because of my understanding of that mm-hmm. i understand that music has had a, a huge influence on me mm-hmm. i understand that that music has been like the kind of music that i prefer to listen to when i'm about to go out and do this or i'm about to go out and do that or what i was listening to when i did that or what put me in this frame of mind or that frame of mind you know what i'm saying like I, i'm well aware of that type of stuff and that's why i do that and um you know that was one of the reasons why me and jay touched on that and music never dies but that's one of the reasons why i do what i do because i realize the impact it's had on my life both positively mm-hmm. and negatively mm. Mm-hmm. And I want to put all that positive stuff out there because yeah. it don't need to be like the like the 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 a bunch of negative out there. It really don't. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I agree that uh, uh, with the brother that said it's it's got to naturally evolve. I believe it, it it will because again, I do believe that we are as creative as we are. You know, I believe we are intelligent. I believe there's only so long that you could that you could fool and finesse people and that cats will be sleeping. You know, once cats wake up out this sleep and slumber that cats is at and they start realizing what time it really is, cats will start to start to uh, uh, make changes and start mm. to have different tastes for different things. So I don't even have a taste, uh, a hunger or crave. A lot of the stuff that I used to have a taste for and hunger and crave um, that was about that negative and just about, you know what I mean? Just, you know, just all that bad stuff that I was into, you know, back in the day. I don't even have a taste for that no more. That's because I grew this up here and I started to realize what time it really was. And um, and so I don't even have a taste for that no more. So like, you know, uh, we already at that point where people we people already have access to different kind of music and people are enjoying it. And even, even underground artists are getting plenty of plays, plenty of views compared to. You know, back in the day, that tra- drill and trap music evolved from gangster rap and stuff. But and it's always going to be there because people go want aggressive, aggressive music uh, every once in a while. They, they just want something to listen to to feel that vibe. But yeah, man, I think uh, at this point, man, the positive music can be welcome, man, without you know it being shunned. Back in the day, as you just shut that stuff, like, man, get that, that stuff corny. Don't nobody want to hear that stuff. Now you can talk about that stuff and people actually listen, like, man, say something deep, man. 
You want to know the interesting thing about that brother is like right like when when it when when hip hop first started like that stuff was actually like the knowledge rap was actually something that cats mm -hmm. was it was selling a lot. Yeah. yeah. It was selling mm -hmm. a lot like and if you didn't have like no game that you can kick no knowledge you can kick then you was probably considered whack. But it's interesting mm -hmm. like that the role got reversed for a little bit. Whereas mm -hmm. when you had actually something to say intelligent or thought thoughtful that eventually that came that, that that turned out to be shunned. So it's like at first cats was hustling, but like now everybody's drug addicts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and it, it's it's so it's interesting. You see you see a, a, a like it's, it's like a polar it's a polar opposite. But there's cycles that happen in 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 life, and trends be coming and going and come right back around all the time. All the time. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so so to your point I believe that uh that the the cycle will happen again. But when I be going out here and I be performing some of my stuff in front of these gangsters, I'll go perform a track like Pray in front of some gangsters and whatnot after these cats will go up and do some drill or whatever and these cats will be saluting me afterwards. Yo, that was real, mm -hmm. homie. Yo, that was deep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's yeah. they they have that it's in them, bro. Like for real. Like mm -hmm. it's in them. But this yeah. is just, they're just captive of this trend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, tr Trinity. this trend yeah. is just taking them over. It's like it's possessed mm -hmm. them. So they just yeah. kind of following this right here. And they just need examples that there's another way, that there's something else out there. And, and, and um, so that, uh, and someone to show them how to do something else. Cause right now this is just how they learn. Kind of similar to my upbringing in in, in Sacktown. That's gangster rap was all I knew. I came up over here and I learned something else. It took me by surprise. It was like, it was like I went through an internal revolution. I was like, whoa, this, <laughs> this is crazy. It was mind blowing. And yeah. I think that when you expose people to different stuff, it just shocks them. They're like, whoa, mm -hmm. that's that's crazy. And um, some will accept it and some will won't. But that's that's fine because everybody got their choice uh, in life. But uh, you know what I'm saying? I think that there just needs to be more examples for people to see. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you just got to speak their language. You got to be able to uh, to communicate with them. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, again, you know, we black folks. So there's we you hardly encounter a black person who you you don't know what they're talking about. Like you can't relate to them in some way. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I know. I know I don't care if you're from Mississippi or if you're from Harlem, bro. Like I, I can relate to you. Yes, mm -hmm. you got yes, merch. Sir. You got merch. Hey, yes, sir. Absolutely, man. I definitely am a, am a. When you're an indie, and I don't just, I don't just, I don't just recommend this for indie, but for for everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, business ownership or entrepreneurship is 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 something that's really key and important to us turning around our our conditions in our neighborhoods you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. we we have uh, been conditioned to believe that we just need to work for other people forever and mm -hmm. and don't believe that we can become entrepreneurs outside of the trap house you know mm -hmm. but that's but that's but that's not true there's a lot of different things that we could do. All we got to do is put our mind to it. So I'm a I'm a firm believer in in uh, entrepreneurship and business ownership, big and small. But I, 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 I yeah, so I definitely got merch on deck. No doubt. I appreciate <laughs> okay. you coming in, uh, speaking with us, man. I know it took a uh, almost an hour. Well, it did take an hour, but. I, I just I think that everybody needed to hear this, especially when it comes to somebody that's positive refreshing and lyrical yeah man i you know appreciate it man it's uh I, i'm glad that you guys uh was liking what y'all was hearing and supporting me and whatnot and mm -hmm. and um can understand and see where i'm coming from as an artist and as a person and and mm -hmm. um and my vision of what what i'm trying to do and where i'm trying to go not as an artist but like um the way that i see uh, us moving forward man because mm -hmm. i, I want to support y'all not in, in any way that i can you know what i'm saying because y'all my 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 people people too mm -hmm. so uh just th that's what i'm about man I'm, i want to see i want to see a change in our community and uh, at large not just uh the music you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm a part of it's it's bigger than music with me yeah yeah. much bigger and um so cats will definitely get that impression when they listen to my music at least i'm hoping that they do mm -hmm. I, I think if you continue bro it's gonna it's gonna open up people will see it like you said they they gonna get sick of that 
that you know, and at some point it's gonna be like, yo, I see a whole different road now. I see a whole different way, you know what I'm saying? So uh definitely, man, salute for everything that you do, my brother. And anytime you want to come back, man, you are welcome. Um, yeah. you drop another single, man. I'll play it, I'll spin it, throw it on rotation, share it out to fellow DJs I know, whatever I could do, man, to keep your movement going, man, or help out, man. Let me know, man. I'm I'm you know. You you fam now, you know what I'm saying? You can come in. You. you ain't have Appreciate to knock, brother. Just come, just just, just do do. What up? Hey, what up? Appreciate you. Appreciate Hello. you, man. And you more than you more than welcome to come to the cookout anytime, too, brother. For real. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. I appreciate the welcome. And yeah. it's great being here, man. And and I'm glad that we got a chance to sit back and build and and yeah. talk about uh, a lot of important things that affect uh, us every day in our community, because really, that's what this is really about, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, um, it's all about uh, building and changing things in our community, changing the narrative in our community. And and and, and music is, is a medium that we can use to do that, just like it's being used to, um, to undo uh, mm. so many good things that we used to have in our community as well. Oh, yeah. Right. So, yeah. mm -hmm. All right. One more last thing. Y'all, your social media so people can follow you. Where can they get your music, stream it and all that? Put out OK. There. OK. Yeah. So I'm on all streaming platforms. Um, if anybody wants to tap in with me on Instagram, my handle is Eddie P underscore Iron Message. So that's E-D-D-Y-P underscore Iron Message. I R O N N. M E S S A G E, and um, they can download or stream my music for free. Um, I have a free music page that they can um, tap into and download and stream my music for free. So hit up my my IG, and it has all the links to where they can find my music and my free my free music page as well. All right, man. Well, man, we, I will definitely be in touch with you, my brother. Most definitely, man. And I with you, man. And salute to, to, to my other two brothers up over here, man. Kid Justice. Yes, Shout out to my man, um, Fizz and... Fizz Ed Music. Yeah. Fizz Ed Music. And, uh, yeah, man, y'all be easy out here, man. All right, man. Yeah. All right. Save the Matches Radio is now available in all apps.